and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Lauren and I'm a wedding photographer and small business attorney here in South Carolina. Today we're going to go through a Thrivecart tutorial. So Thrivecart is the cart application that I use in my business for my online shop. If you want to check out my online shop, you can go over to NicoleLaurenPhotography.com education. There are a lot of templates, a course on there, as well as some coaching options. So definitely give it a visit if you're interested, but today we're gonna to walk through the back end of my shop in Thrivecart. So Thrivecart is the cart platform that I use, and from Thrivecart, I create each individual product listing, and then I take that product listing and I embed it onto my Show It website. So Show It is the platform I use for website hosting. So I have a shop page. On that page, you can click links to be able to buy each individual product, and those individual product pages are hosted on Thrivecart. So that is kind of how it all works together. Um, in just a second, we're gonna put this video as a picture in picture so you can see the screen recording of my screen walking you through Thrivecart, and then you can also see me, a smaller version of me in the corner so you can still kind of follow along with what I'm saying and what you're seeing on the screen. But before we get to that, make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it, and definitely subscribe down below. We have a lot of fun over here. There's a lot of educational videos on here for creative entrepreneurs, business owners and photographers so if that is up your alley then you definitely want to stick around and don't miss an upcoming upload all right without further ado let's get into Thrivecart okay so this is the basic like layout of what Thrivecart looks like when you're when you have a lot of products in here so this is like the second page of my product layout in Thrivecart on the back end we're going to look specifically at my course, which is the wedding walkthrough mini course. So if you're interested in learning more about the course, maybe for yourself, or you just want to use it as market research, you're definitely welcome to. Um, it's NicoleLaurenPhotography.com slash walkthrough. That's the page that you can learn more about the course on. I'll leave a link for that in the description below. But this is the back end of the cart for the wedding walkthrough course. So let's go ahead and click on edit. And that's going to show us like what's going on behind the scenes in this product. So um, first you want to put a product name right here. So wedding walkthrough mini course, that's what's going to appear on the cart in the invoice. You could also use a label here. That's something that's more internal. So whatever you want to call it internally in your business, clients are not going to see that. You can actually decide if you want the product status to be disabled in test mode or live. If it's in test mode, that means that you can basically check out without having to pay, but people aren't actually going to get anything when they buy. Um, live means that it's on sale, right? So you can also change the checkout page URL. I recommend making this as simple as possible. So when you see this on um, my education page, let's actually go there now so you can see it kind of in real time. So when you go to my education page and you join the course, um, let's see, enroll now. So this is gonna take you to the page and let's say we actually wanna enroll. This is the Thrivecart page. So it's gonna be nicolelaurenphotography.thrivecart.com slash wedding-walkthrough-course. And so that is the URL that you're gonna put right in here. So it's gonna be whatever your business website name is dot thrivecart.com slash and then whatever you put here in this checkout page URL section. Okay. Another thing I want to stress here right from the beginning is that I made this mistake when I was first starting out in Thrivecart and I would like make a change and then I would not save it. And I don't know if this is like actually true or if this is still how it is, but I've just been conditioned now because I lost so many things to just do this every time, every chance I get. So anytime I make a change on any individual page, like if we're going from options to pricing to bump to processors, before I switch to another page or another tab, I always make sure to click save and get URL. That basically saves all my progress and then takes me directly to the URL. Obviously, I'm not ready to get the URL just yet. If I'm just now starting the product and I've only put the product name, I'm not ready to get the URL, URL yet, but I've just made it a habit so that I don't, so I make sure I don't lose anything at all. Okay, let's go back to the product settings. Okay, so let's go to pricing. So this pricing is set up in two ways. I have a one-time payment of 147. I also have a split pay option, so people can sign up for the payment plan. It is three payments of $64, and I just edit that based on what I want to do. 
But something I do definitely recommend is customizing your payment, your customer's payment notification. Let's edit this together. So I have some email copy in here. This gives me a preview of what it looks like when they purchase. And I always want to make sure that I save it. Now, I've added in my own colors here, which you can do by putting the hex code in here. I definitely recommend that as well. Um, I also put my logo in here, which is a great, nice touch as well. So I'm going to make sure to save that and always save and get URL after you make any changes. Again, I've just been conditioned to do that. Okay, let's go over to bump. So this is the bump offer. Um, right now, I don't have a bump offer on this product because I'm actually going to be part of a photo bundle soon, which means I'm collaborating with other photographers and educators to put a lot of our products together for one really low price. If it's still going on, I will put the information for that in the description below so you can get it if you'd like. If not, I'm sorry that it's not no longer available. You can still get the course though at the link below. Um, but let's just show you what it would look like if I did have a bump offer. So if I did click on having a bump offer, I could choose if it was digital or physical. Digital is what I decided. My photographer email templates is what I think goes really well with this course because it's something that photographers are going to use every single day in their business. So they can add it on for a special price. And here you can decide if you want it to automatically be added to the cart or if the customer has to click for it to be added. Um, but for now, I'm gonna leave that off because I am a part of that photo bundle and I don't want there to be any confusion. Save and get URL, do that again. And then um, processors, I don't really do much for this. They actually just added a couple different payment processors that you can use. They offer Stripe and an upgrade to PayPal, which I just haven't done yet. So if you wanna use something different, you definitely can, but right now I just use the regular PayPal. All right, in terms of fulfillment, I am going to blur out this uh, link because that's the link to get to the course and obviously I don't want you to steal the course so that's gonna be there but this is where people should go when they um, purchase the course this is the URL that Thrivecart is going to send them to so the way that I have it worked out is that it's actually a private page on my website that no one else can get to unless they have that secret direct link um, there's a couple other options you can display their total invoice if you don't want to send them to a URL you can also add them to a membership site. So Thrivecart actually has a whole service inside of Thrivecart, which I'm planning to actually move my course to, just haven't done it yet. Um, but they have a whole service, it's called Thrivecart Learn. You can actually host your course on Thrivecart. You still have to host the actual videos somewhere else, but you can actually have a membership or a login for each of your clients and customers on Thrivecart, which I think is a great feature. But if you're interested in Thrivecart Learn and learning more about that, Definitely leave a comment below and I'll try to do a tutorial once I have that all set up in the future. Next is checkout. So checkout is probably the most important thing that you want to spend your time on. You want to decide whether you want a standard checkout, which is a full standalone page, a sales cart, embeddable, which means it can be embedded onto your site directly or a pop-up. So for the course, I actually send them to a standard page. I think that's most helpful. But for, um, for instance, my legallycreative.com where I sell contract templates for creatives, I actually have that set up as a pop-up. So if someone clicks a button that they wanna buy, a pop-up just comes up on that same web page, and it's really easy to check out. So since I've chosen the standard checkout page, I definitely want to go over to design and launch the editor, and this is where the real magic happens. When you first start out with something like this, it's going to be so, so basic, so you want to really customize it. I've uploaded several PNGs and images in here, so I uploaded this in into Thrivecart so I could have the wedding walkthrough logo visible. I probably wouldn't be able to create like these words with that font directly in Thrivecart, so it's actually a PNG. There was actually something a little outdated that I needed to stop and take care of right now, which is awesome that we're doing this. Um, but I put my little description of the course here. I put a photo of kind of like what the course is about there. I put the title of the course, the price, and then you can see the payment plan options here. Now I also wanna make sure I'm going to the success page. So this is after someone purchases, this is what they're going to see. And I wanna make sure that this is fully customized too. So I customize the color here, I customize the color of the text, the color of the button, and I also made sure that this said the correct name. That's really important because I've made other products and not checked that and it's kind of embarrassing. I don't do anything with the tracking button right now. Um, I probably should, but I just don't. I don't do anything with the behavior either. 
and that is something that I definitely need to explore in the future. Another system I use is Zapier, which allows me to take customers from Thrivecart and add them to my email list in Flowdesk. I also use Zapier to send myself text messages every time I make a sale on Thrivecart, which is really, really fun. You can customize the text message and it's like really celebratory and just cute and fun to receive. So if you want a, a tutorial on that, definitely leave a comment down below and I'll try to make one for you soon. Uh, but the very last thing and the most important step is that we want to make sure that again, we're saving the URL and this time is when we actually need it. And so this URL is what I'm going to copy. And whenever I go to my website, um, that is what is going to be linked in this button. So whenever I go to show it, and again, if you want a show it tutorial, which would probably be really good, definitely leave a comment down below. I'll try to do that in the future as well. That is not what we're doing right now. So I won't show you the back end of show it, but if you're interested, I can definitely make a video for you. But when I go into my show it site builder and I'm linking where this button goes, I make this button link to the actual cart page. So you can see that it takes me right to it. There it is in action and it's ready to go. So it's ready for people to purchase. Thank you for watching this tutorial in Thrivecart on one of my favorite products that I sell in my shop. Again, if you're interested in the course, I'll leave a link for that down below. If you have any comments or questions about this video, make sure to leave those below as well. I'm really excited to do more hands-on walkthroughs and tutorials for you about creative business ownership and my favorite applications and tools that I use in my business in the future. But until then, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below so you don't miss anything upcoming, and I'll see you in the next video.